There are two ways to determine correct exposure. You can estimate the light, or you can meter the light. Out of doors, estimating the light is difficult because the light is always changing, except in one situation, and that's bright sunlight. If you don't know this, memorize it. It's called the Sunny F-16 rule. Correct exposure anywhere in the world for a front-lit subject bigger than a camera bag on a clear, non-polluted day is the shutter speed closest to the ISO of the film at F-16 or any equivalent value. This is the Sunny 16 rule. Let's go over that again. Correct exposure anywhere in the world, doesn't matter where you are, on a front-lit subject, that is the lights coming over your shoulder, lighting the front side of the subject that you see, and the subject's bigger than a camera bag, this doesn't work for close-ups, on a clear, non-polluted day, there's no haze, there's no pollution, there's no little veil of milky white cloud. The exposure is the shutter speed closest to the ISO of the film you're using at F-16 or any equivalent value, the Sunny 16 rule. Let's try a few. Let's see if you understand this. What's the starting Sunny 16 exposure for, oh, Kodachrome 25, it's ISO 25. That's right, it's a 30th, the speed closest to 25, at F-16 or any equivalent value. And remember to add that phrase. What's oh Fuji 50? Well, it's ISO 50 film, so it would be a 60th at F-16 or any equivalent value. What about Ektachrome 400? Well, 500th of a second at F-16 or any equivalent value. Remember that it's any equivalent value. Kodachrome 25 may have a starting point of a 30th at F-16, but you don't have to shoot at that value. A 30th at F-16 is exactly the same exposure as a 60th at F-11, a 125th at F-8, a 250th at 5.6, a 500th at 4. You pick the combination that you want. Let's say you have a 10-point white-tailed buck running in front of you. Are you going to shoot Kodachrome 25 at a 30th at F-16? The answer is maybe. Maybe you like abstract to deer pictures, but you pick the combination that you want to have since it's your photograph. Let's look at a few slides here. This is Turret Arch in Arches National Park in Utah. Here I've favored depth of field over shutter speed. This spoonbill photograph taken in Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge in Florida is the reverse. Instead of favoring depth of field, I've favored shutter speed. I've shot Fuji Chrome 100 at a thousandth at f5.6. Let's try a couple more photographs. Here's a barn shot in the Palouse country of Washington State. What is this photograph taken at if I'm using Fuji Chrome 50? Well, I'm favoring depth of field here. Fuji 50 starts out at a 60th of 16. I probably shot this at about f22, so the shutter speed would be, that's right, 30th of a second at f22. Here's a brown pelican from Florida. This was taken on Fuji 100. And what's it shot at? Starting at 125th at f16, that works out to be a 500th at f8 or 1,000th at f5.6. For all rules, there are exceptions, and for Sunny 16, these occur when the subjects are at either end of the tonal scale. Remember, the tonal scale runs from black to white, and if your subject is very light or very dark, you have to correct Sunny 16 to allow for this. With a very light subject or a white subject, you stop down one f-stop from Sunny F16 to 22. With a black or a very dark subject, you open up one f-stop to f11. Let's look, for example, at this great egret photograph. If we shoot Sunny 16, we burn out the feather detail in the whites. How do you correct for this? Stop down one stop to F22. Sunny 16, down one stop for the whites. The exact same thing is true with this photograph from Bryce Canyon in Utah. Sunny F16 burns out the highlights. To correct for this, we go down to F22. There really aren't that many dark subjects that you have to worry about. Dark buffalo, dark moose, those are two that come right to mind. The darkest thing I know of is a wet black Labrador retriever. And as far as I'm concerned, you can't photograph one in the bright sunshine and keep detail in the fur and have anything else in the frame. Remember that Sunny 16 is an estimated exposure for front lit subjects. The sun's coming over your shoulder directly onto the subject. For side lighting, when the sun is at right angles to the subject, you open up one f-stop. And for backlight, the sun behind the subject, it's two f-stops open. 
and it doesn't matter how you open up the stops. You can either change the shutter speed or the aperture. You just need more light falling on the film. Let's look at some examples and see how you can do these. Here's the lion photographed in Ngorongoro Crater in Tanzania. What's the exposure? Well, look at the light. You can tell from the shadows that this is sunlit. So it's sunny 16, open one stop for side lighting. Try this photograph, Balanced Rock in Arches National Park in Utah. Where's the sun? Directly to the side. So this is one stop open for side lighting from sunny 16 values. Here's another one, a desert cottontail photographed in Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota. What's the exposure? The light is coming from directly behind the rabbit. It's bright sunlight backlighting the subject, so it's two stops open from sunny 16 exposure values. I'll show you a few more slides here, and we'll give you a test. Here's a mute swan in bright sun. What's the exposure? Well, it's a front-lit white object. What do you do for a white object in bright sun? One stop down to F22, and then work out the equivalent value. Here's an anhinga drying its wings. What's the exposure? This is a backlit dark object. We open one stop because it's a dark object, then we open, open two more stops because it's backlit, and we end up with sunny F5.6 or any equivalent value. Try this, a mountain goat photographed in Mount Evans Colorado. This is a side-lit white subject. What do you do for side lighting? Open up one from F16 to F11. What do you do for white? You stop down one, so we're right back to F16. Here's a snowy egret photographed in the Everglades. This is a backlit white subject. For backlighting, we open up two stops, F11, F8. But for white, what do we do? Stop down one, back to F11. Let's try one more. Here's Okatia in bloom. What's the exposure? Be careful, I've tried to trick you. This is a straight, sunny 16 exposure. No adjustment whatsoever. 